Yo. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. It's me, John the Empty here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Saga Log. Um, I'm turning up my game because I am planning on being a little bit more quiet in today's episode, like quiet but not quiet kind of a thing. But we're going to make it work. We're going to do what we can to do what we can. Um, so I need to make a distinction real quick because... I messed up how the ability works. I flipped pickpocket and magician. So the ability that Siren has, if you guys can see, is pickpocket. And pickpocket steals an item from an attacker that makes direct contact. So it's helpful in like a lot of different fights because a lot of the people are going to have some form of item so that their item will get stolen great but they have to hit me with a physical move i thought i had to hit them with a physical move that's a magician my bad so getting siren a physical move is actually not a priority anymore because i like siren's move set it doesn't matter if siren has a physical or special move so that is a grand and amazing distinction to make considering that siren is not a physical attacker in the slightest so thank goodness for uh doing that little bit of off screen grinding got all the entire team up to level nine they're all chilling having a great time we're gonna have another freaking level up session probably because freaking the gym leader is level 13 i think so um breeze ace is 13 love it stan it it's the best uh definitely doesn't make me scared for my life but it's Fine, we're gonna go to the family barn. Uh, yeah, I forgot I did that. There's a lot of things I forgot I did, which I'm kind of happy that I forgot what I did because it wouldn't be fun if I didn't. So it's like we got the family barn. I know, um, Bree's freaking, uh, so each or not each that that's a lie. Some gym leaders have injected mons so. And what I typic what I not typically, what I did do is I stuffed the injected mon onto one of their like crap cruddier mons. So it wasn't like a oh by the way, sweetie, uh, I'm gonna get rid of your X strong Pokemon. So like if something had a Kyogre, I wouldn't be like, Yep, nope, ripping that Kyogre off the team. Can't have that. It's like, no. The whole point is to make the injected mon feel more challenging. So it's supposed to be annoying like it can't just not be annoying if it's not annoying then it's not injected um <laughs> i guess technically it is an irritant so therefore that actually makes sense as an analogy i feel like it shouldn't oh this is great i get to spend time with freaking charizard yes also uh i'm making making that a thing by the way Anytime it's Fennekin, it's, it's going to say Charizard. Our encounter for Route 3. I do not have my catching Pokemon in the front of the party. It's a Spoopy. It's a Spoopy Bulbasaur. I mean, to be fair, I'm glad I didn't have my catching Pokemon in the front of the party because that would have been terrible. Um, But I guess it's still not bad, though, because I don't... I'm going to quick attack it. Because it should not do a lot of damage. It should do like 30%. Look at me go. Look at me go. Ooh, we are coiling now. That's scary. Hmm. The hail. The fact that I led with Pin Cushion Cat was a terrible decision. It, it truly was. I messed up that big time. Um, But we're fine. We'll, we'll make it work. Okay, good. I was about to say, or we won't have to because it's going to be a nice Bulbasaur or an Ivysaur, but I truly was not hoping for that. I truly, I'm like, I want to kind of have my mistake bite me in the butt a little bit because making mistakes needs to bite you in the butt so you can learn. But speaking of, I have, is it that? Is that what I'm looking for? No, it's not. I'm looking for my, it's right here. It's behind me. Um, I'm looking for my chapstick. Um, that sound. Why did I make that sound? Whatever. But, I don't know. 
Here's the thing. Pincushion Cat is... Pincushion Cat's a weird spot because, like, I don't care about Pincushion pin cushion Cat, to be frank. Um, and... So it's like, I don't necessarily need Pincushion Cat in my life. <laughs> I know that's so sad to say, but also, it's the truth. But... I'm gonna go into Tentacool. I might regret this. There's a high likelihood I regret this. But... Oh! Thank you for the plus two defense, Ivysaur. Um, just join my party so you don't die. That's what matters right now. I, I, I like the fact that you gave me the plus two defense. Go to sleep, join my team. I put the right Pokemon out this time, so we're gonna be fine. Okay, please. You can do it, Ivysaur. Yes, you can. You can join my team and be a good little Pokemon. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't see if you're a boy or a girl, and I'm sorry about that. I should have. But, like, I'll see now, right? <laughs> I, I kind of have to. You kind of. Your gender gets revealed on this screen, so. Oh, we got a Spoopy. And Spoopy is really good backup. For just in case anything dies. As I kind of expect. So I would enjoy Spoopy on the team. Also, the level cap is 13 for everybody that did not know what the level cap was. So, and because all the important trainer battles have six Pokemon, I fully expect there to be things that make and or change that situation because oh, it's like it's just one of those things right it's you don't you always you don't want to prep for the worst possible situation but you also know that it's probably beneficial to do such um i don't have cut so it's fine Oh yeah, the family barn. So we're gonna get our other encounter, um, and then I'm gonna get my uh, actual stuff set up to fight the gym because we're seven minutes in, y'all. Like it's it is gym time. As much as I might regret saying that, like we gotta train up for that gym. That gym is important. And we definitely gonna have the time to do it, and that's the scary, right? Because we caught that Venus really fast. So it really, I mean, it depends on what we're gonna catch here on this next route. Like it, that could be a that could be a troublesome situation waiting to happen, um, but I doubt it. Special marks are not randomized, as you can tell by this. They have the same things. I I don't like randomizing the special marks. I'm weird, I know, but it's just not my thing. Um, bye. Now, I do believe we have stuff that we can sell, though. I think I did mention that. I have a power lens. Oh, other things that we figured out. So, the re how I figured that out was that I have a red scarf, I got a red shard, and then I have a max potion and max elixir. So, I found a place that Siren can pickpocket max elixirs for the Elite Four. Might take advantage of that one, because freaking, while well, I have Siren to do that with. Um... Obviously, I won't, like, I will do it when I need to level up, and so, like, that makes a lot, like, if I'm level, basically what I'm saying is if I'm leveling up Siren, I know where I'm leveling up Siren for the sake of getting Pokemon and things that I need and want, but for the rest of the team, doesn't really matter. There we go. That's what I'm saying, because Max Potions is, and Max Elixirs are super, um, like, super good. Especially the elixirs, and I know what Mon. Actually, that's I. I think I remember what Mon gave me. That I think it was Heracross. If I'm not mistaken, I think Heracross had the elixir. Um, because the red scarf was dr 
Salamence, not Dragonite, was Salamence. The Red Shard, when I figured out the pickpocket scenario, was a Pokemon that did not matter in that context. So, okay, you're a Pokemon that I'm forced to fight, and heck no, is Pincushion Kid. Dude, Pincushion Cat is in the front of the party again. I almost got caught with my pants down a second time in this episode. Good job. Um, can I? Yeah. Let me do the thing, please. I knew that I, I, I was like, that's probably the way that I'm going to, it's going to be annoying and I'm sorry. It's probably the way that I'm going to uh, change what Pokemon are in what spot. I'll be 100% honest with you there. Because it just makes the most sense of to me. Like, to me, it's like, oh, yeah, they're right there. This is what I'm going to do with them. Like, flop Dino up to the front and do that. And uh, it was a great decision yet again. We like that. Dino has been, like, the great decision of the run so far. Um, Returns the best. Ooh, actually, though, Aeroblast could have been good, too, because it's not defensive. Or not specially defensive. Luckily for us, that didn't matter in the slightest. Dino, level 10. We'll take that. This butt had a sticky barb. And that's staying with Dino. You actual butt nugget. She straight up just was like, hardy horror. Watch. No, literally, she's going to Aqua Jet Siren. Give Siren the black sludge on top of that. Bet. No, I wouldn't actually bet, but it's something that could happen. Oh, Mudkip lived. Mudkip went for ominous win. Interesting. Not bad, but interesting. But, hmm. That sticky barb, though, like, ugh. Why? Like, why? As soon as I saw that animation, I was like, bruh. I knew what it was from the get once that animation happened. I was like, of course, that's what we have. Like, and that's the kind of ordeals and stuff. Oh, it just did damage to Dino while it was on Dino. Okay, that's fine. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that we are anticipating seeing. A lot more of the random, why do you have this kind of situations? Which, honestly, could be really fun in this Nuzlocke. But it also could be very terrifying high. Ground Psychic. I don't mind the typing. I'm definitely going to put you to sleep first, though. Because I think you're a pretty easy capture. Which, again, very big positive if it is as easy of a capture as I'm thinking it is. Because getting easy captures in the beginning... Those are like, those right there are like, those are the plays that you're looking for. Easy catches, you don't have to worry about them, and you can move on. <sighs> Thank you, Baltoy. Appreciated. The thing is, is because, like, you don't know what their abilities are, or what their possibilities or capabilities are, because they're such an easy capture, you gotta go to the box to see. But, I don't mind. I'm going to name you Mace because, of course, again, easy naming scheme, or easy names. I appreciate it. Mace has been transferred to a new box location. Coolio. We don't get cut for a while, I don't think. But yeah. So, we'll train our team to level 12, uh, a pop, so that they don't go past the level cap. Maybe even 11 and a half if I'm feeling like it could be an issue. Because I feel like it definitely could be an issue, but 11 and a half doesn't seem like too bad of a level. But yeah, Lickitung. I just realized that I uh, engaged with the trainer fight, because I'm just trying to get the item for you guys off our on screen. Because there's no reason, if I, like, oh, also I remember you, ba bad touch, ba 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 bad touch, uh, freaking, you died to little, freaking little Jonas, not little Jonas, it was a big Jonas, but it was a terrifying big Jonas, because it had 
a lot of scary moves. Also, I like how you use Mimic. Good job. Thank you for doing that, by the way. I mean, on it, but here's the thing, though. Don Fan just bodies it anyways, so we're chill. Naruto games 99 is level 10. Yeah, so we could realistically very easily get to level, like, ooh, yes, Naruto. Uh, yes, uh, buy Mudshot. I don't want it. It's 55 base power. Sand Tomb actually kind of is utilizable. In a weird, off way, Sand Tomb could work. We defeated Bridget, but yeah, let's go ahead and get our item, which, I mean, I would laugh if it's a lucky egg. That would be kind of funny. A snowball. What is that? In the context of Pokemon, what is that? I don't know. But I guess we'll see you guys during the gym fight. Because like I said, don't know the context, so we'll find out. Okay, we're back. Ooh, this is sketch. Okay, so I gotta switch my mods though because I almost forgot that, uh, well, Pincushion Cat's in the lead. I purposefully have Pincushion Cat at level 11. It's almost because I don't trust Pincushion Cat. Oh, surprise. But moves that were learned between the squad, we have Pincushion Cat who decided to learn Facade and Horn Drill. So, um,. And it's hit four out of five so far, which means it's not going to hit, like, at all when I need it. So, that's great. Um, then we have Jolly Roger, who did not learn a single thing, which is fine. We have Dino, who did not learn a single thing. That is fine. We had Naruto, who learned Bulldoze, but I think you guys got to saw that, see that in the episode. Then we got Siren, who attempted to learn Aqua Tail. But then I thought about it and was like, there's really no point as Siren progresses. Like, because I don't need to hit things physically for my ability and since I learned that because I would have taught it over aqua pledge or water pledge 100% if I still had realized the ability situation um and then we have the same moveset here so anyways as, 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 as you know that is I need to see what and who is close oh wait no 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 I ver forgot that's right it's it's not oh we also got a zinc from a trainer which was nice I was like thank you trainer forgive me that um I forgot it's level 14 we can't get to so we're fine because 13 is the level cap, which means that I can enter the gym at nothing past the cap. Got it. Okay, we're fine. I overthought it, as per usual. I was like, oh my gosh, you can get to level 12 on everybody because you're going to have a big one that can soak up some experience so that we don't have to worry about the cap situation. Um, no, that's not how this works, John. It's at or below the cap. It's greater than or equal to, not just le or less than or equal to not just less than makes the difference big difference hi shuckle you also make a difference a big difference uh because you do not give that much uh, xp so i am down with that keep giving me a pokemon like that that's that's what i need right now is pokemon that just don't give that much experience that aren't threats like shuckle is not a threat in this format like yeah i say that like this is <laughs> why did i say that like it was a freaking competitive battle i mean it kind of is competitive because I'm being hyper competitive right now. But this is like, this is the moment, right? We can do some good things here. We have a gym battle that could be sketch. I'm not gonna lie, that gym battle could be very sketch. I don't, and a lot of it is more so out of, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's sketch, yes. But it's also because it's our first 6v6 fight in two generations. That's a good way to put it. Um, we know the infused Pokemon is a Eevee, so at least it's not terrible. Um, I don't remember the Eevee's moveset whatsoever, not gonna lie. Like, because I programmed the movesets and gave them the movesets that they would normally have in terms of the way the game's laid out. So, but instead of, you know how the game has its, like... If it's this level, it has the last four moves. It's actually like, it's what moves fit it best out of what it could learn at that point, is how I did it. So, I don't remember the moveset. I want to say it has facade, so I don't want to uh, give it any, like, 
Oh, wait. No, it has immunity. I don't remember what it has. <laughs> I think it has immunity, though, where it poisons itself so you can't do any, like, of that to it, which means that I'd have to put it to sleep fast if I were to get rid of it that way. But I, I don't really have to worry, right? What I see is a situation where it's, there's nothing really to worry necessarily about. Like, things can and will be threatening as it is a Pokemon Let's Play. What is things not going to be threatening? And I know that going in, right? That there will be things. There will be issues. Also, level 13, Naruto. Good job, you buddy. Four hundred and seventy nine experience is needed to the next level. I still am not gonna chance it. You're an important mon to my uh my squad. Um Well Well, I guess I'm finding an extra trainer. Great job, me. Youngster David has a Fero. Uh I'm not worried about that. Experience wise I'm a little bit worried about that, but because Dino Dino was part of Dino and that's actually why. Um, the levels were the way they were. It was because Dino and Naruto took out, like, a really good Pokemon in training that gave, like, 600 experience. And it wasn't really a great Pokemon. It just, it was what it was. And something that, both, like, it was pretty easily handleable. So we handled it as, you know, y'all should be able to do, but... So, that's kind of why I'm using them first. Because, well, I don't anticipate using them. Ow! You might have a... You might have huge power. That's bad. I'm gonna swap. I'm going to do what I think I got to do and swap here. Uh, I think split experience will keep me from getting 409 or 479. Oh. Uh, I don't know about this, though, but that's, like, my only true option unless I wanted to keep. Yeah, that's definitely got huge power. It's that's which is not something I want to be fighting particularly. Oh, frick. I messed up that. Why do you miss when it's on? I flubbed that actually hardcore. I went to Shadow Sneak just because of naturalness. Oh, that was a crit. Oh. This Fear would hunt. There's no way that it does not have freaking huge power. Don't be more than 479. 364. Okay. That was scary. Adina wants to learn Stomp. That's going to be a no-go, buddy. I like return better. Stomp over strength would be nice if I didn't need strength in this game. If it was sun and moon, strength would have been gone. I'll be 100% honest. Strength would have 100% been gone if it was sun and moon. Because Stomp has the flinch chance, and that's really good on Dino. But sadly, we don't get that. And we gotta go back. <laughs> Time to go back to the not gym. I don't wanna fight many trainers though. That's the problem. I don't wanna like. I want Siren to be in the front though. Because I got two 13s, a 12. I want Jolly Roger to move up to 13. That is. Is probably the only Pokemon that I can think of that I'm like, okay, if you move up to 13, I'll be fine. But I don't want to be forced into using Pincushion Cat for fights, I guess is the best way to put it. Like, if I can avoid having to use Pincushion, Laura will be okay. I figured I should have gone 11 and a half, but I went 12, and that could bite me in the butt. I don't want to overtrain, right? But, like, also, I'm in a situation where I'm like, I mean, is training a bad thing, though? And it's like, to me, it's not. Because training is, like, important to a Nuzlocke, and it's a big, 
key thing. It's an area of, like that you want to perform in. And so I want to do good in it, but it's like, uh, so not having awakenings, not having access to that kind of stuff is scary. So was that a forced trainer? Yes, it was. <clears throat> But I believe you can get out of this fight. Yes. That's not required, so I'll skip it. There's two required fights then. Unless the other chick is not required either, but I have a feeling that she is. Yeah, she is. Okay. So there, yeah. So, okay. Only two required fights. It's okay. Um, Siren, Siren can handle hopefully whatever comes out here. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's totally fine. Um, I'm totally a okay with that one. That's a good one. But she has two mons. Well, I feel like Siren can handle both. And if Siren can't, then we can just swap into something that can. Much hot. I'm staying in. I feel confident. Siren. Siren's getting to level 13, but if anybody... I mean, I could have actually gone uh, a tentacle there. But also, that my thing with tentacle... Also, why are we... Keep, why do we keep eating berries, guys? Like, can we not? Figgy berry. Storm bro. That's an auto crit. It's okay. Did we get potions? I, I think we did, but like, also, I gotta be careful. Again, it's about being selective, it's about being careful, figuring out how, who, what, when, where, why, I wanna get around things. I should have caught on a little earlier. I have a zinc that I can sell, and I should do that. But, I mean, I also have a max potion. I don't want to waste that though. We have 10. Oh, well, I'm going back. You know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. The last thing I want to have happen is to die because I was being too, um, not cocky, but too lazy to go back and put you guys through and like feel bad for putting you guys through XYZ. It's like, no, it's, you probably would prefer not going back to generation four. Um, because I was being dumb. Like, I want to do everything in my power to prevent that from happening. And that's one thing that I can do, is go make sure that I sell my zinc that I got from a trainer. That's $4,900 of a lot. Now, do I have access to some things that I don't, like, I don't think so. But, let's see, what will my $8,000 be able to get me? Yeah, only got potions and Pokeballs. So, I'm still gonna get 10 more. I I feel like my HP bars aren't high enough to elicit needing super potions, realistically. So, I, that's why it, it makes total sense for it not to be the case and not to have it, but, oh boy, like, sketch. Sketch monsters here. Um, Who am I leading off with? Because I have the opportunity to lead off with what? Ever I choose to here. I don't think Siren's the play. I think Dino is the play. Although I think people are thinking I'm riding Dino's coattails right now, and they'd be kind of right. But the thing is, is what I see is that there are people puzzle pieces on this team this team has puzzle pieces so we have siren who has a purpose of getting rid of certain things um and making threats that wouldn't be threats a thing um then we have our, our dragon slayer we have our dino who's just pure power not he does not have pure power but he is pure power. He's going to be the one that does the damage. We have our defensive one in Naruto. 
but he has color change, which is a little bit of a problem that we'll run into throughout the series. We have Skitty, Pincushion Cat, who is that Pokemon that needs just the evolution thing to evolve and actually be a lot better. Um, Pincushion Cat's our Oogle Blip, essentially, right now. And then we have Tentacool, who is the one that's waiting in the wings to see what it can do. And so its potential is there. It's just can we unlock it, right? Like, if it learns Sheer Cold or Horn Drill like Skitty did, its potential is already up, up high, right? Like, oh, shoot. I forgot Bree has custom text. Um, come at me, bro. Okay. I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm mad now. Does she leave with every Eevee, though? Also, I... I wish that you could change the animation where it said instead of a leader uh, blah, it was leader Bree. Like, that'd be cool. Okay, we led with Dino, and she led with a Swirlix. So, a fairy type right off the bat. It is a Swirlix, though, so I'm not too concerned. I Yeah, I'm definitely not too concerned about that. Dino, take care of it. It's fine. You're chill. Level 14. See, now it's fine because we're at, we're in the gym battle. Everybody was under the level, so we're fine now because a slow bro. That's a toughie. The problem with slow bro is it's, it's the physically defensive one. I'm gonna go with Siren being the answer here. Because we have nothing that's super effective that wouldn't be in trouble. Except for Siren, but Siren's in trouble by any psychic moves and we don't know if it's gonna have any. Okay, Siren, I'm risking your death right now. It's it's bound to happen at some point, right? Like, you don't have your Eevee light, so I'm gonna think that you're stronger than you actually are, and that's my scare is that I think I'm going to be treating you differently because of past experience. I hope I'm wrong. Rain dance. Ooh. I don't like that. The doubles water moves on a Pokemon that is already good with them. He also didn't do as much damage as I was hoping for, Siren. Come on. Okay, she went straight into her Eevee. Um, okay then. So, remember when I said I was totally risking Siren's life? Yup, didn't think that was literal. Um, okay then. Why do you have Volt Switch on that thing? It one. Two, that makes that Pokemon really god tier because it's a slow switcher. Hmm. So she can evaluate with that thing. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that she can just sit, evaluate, and not worry. <gasps> oh my god. Wait a minute. I figured out what this Eevee does and why she did this. I put the pieces together. Oh boy. I put the pieces together. Remember when I said that it has immunity and so I can't status it, right? And it has facade. So this Eevee is about to be slapping me with 140 base power facades. Stab. And it's not getting whittled by the toxic damage. Oh. Shoot. And not only that. She caught me on a switch. She pro played. She legitimately pro played me right now. Oh my gosh. I 
I'm leaning Naruto. Because I think Naruto is the most defensive on the team. 38. 29 on Siren. 30 or 16. 38. 18. 26. 16. So, yeah. So, I was right. So, my most defensive Mon is... I'm doing it. That makes the most sense. Wow! I got freaking pro played. So hardcore right there. Okay. How much does a regular facade do? Seven. So, she's going to be doing 14 damage. Wait, why did her Toxic Orb go off? Wait, does immunity just prevent poisoning? Hmm, I'm gonna triple kick. I didn't even think about that either. That's a. I think that immunity prevents poisoning, unless this is unless I decided. Wait, there's a high probability this is where I decided when I wanted to theory craft and be evil to myself when I decided to wait a minute that's probably not the smartest decision on my part because I want to win so that was either a me thing or I want to look this up now does that work the way that I think it does immunity Pokemon A Pokemon with this ability will be cured of poison if it's poisoned in battle. Oh my, I lucked out. I actually lucked out. I didn't, it prev immunity is the one that prevents poisoning. Prevents the Pokemon from being afflicted by poison. Oh. So there was nothing that I could have done because it had immunity. Hmm. So I was actually, this is this, so this, it was Grant's gym when I was like, oh, I being mean to myself doesn't make sense anymore. And the reason why I wanted to do that, I remember now because I wanted to do that because of the fact that I was giving a uh, not great Pokemon. Because a lot of the other gym leaders that I gave, for example, um, Conkeller for the second gym, Gardevoir, st like stuff like that. So that's a big difference between that and, well, what you guys just saw, an Eevee. So I was trying to be fair and counterbalance that with that kind of a threat. So I guess I guess that was my fault and I didn't think about that or think to look into that. But learning experience. Siren wants to learn aromatic mist. What does that do? Users the special defense the user raises a special defense stat of an ally. Hmm. I'm going to say no, but it's an interesting move. Again, I'm getting stuff set, like, people are learning things for doubles, and I'm like, I don't want to prep my team like that. I know there's a couple fives. Oh my gosh. Why? Which one is it? Well, one, we have the Dragon Killer, so at least we're going to send that out, but... Um... Okay. I... Okay, so, uh... Oh, it's 50% form. Wait, isn't that the only one in this game? Why did I ask that question? I literally asked a stupid question. 
Which a form of Zygarde is it when there's only one in the game? Zygarde used Hidden Power. Wait a minute, why were you- you were faster. It... We missed. Oh my gosh, I just- I can't sit here and trust Frost Breaths. I just can't, because it's failed us on multiple occasions now. What do we got next? Jolly Roger gained a whole lot of experience on that. Good. Needed. What level? Level 13. 30 speed. Jolly Roger wants to learn Avalanche. That's a negative priority move. Absolutely not. No. We do not teach negative priority moves in this house. She is popping off. Excuse me? Why is she popping off so hard right now? I gotta stay in again, but... Oof. Like, it's not... It, Mega does not exist, thank gosh, but... I gotta be... I gotta stay safe in Aura Beam. BP... Oh, I didn't know you had that! Oh, boy. I thought I stayed safe. Again, I don't know the movesets of these things or anything because, well, one, I injected the Eevee, so... Like, I knew the, I knew she had the Rayquaza only because of the fact that I saw it and was like, oh, like, I got taken aback. But those are the only two Pokemon I knew that she had. So the fact that she has more freaking things that are weak to ice is great, but also I'm going to switch because, but into who? I'm going to go Dino. Siren uh, Siren seems to be the answer that I'm looking for. But Dino's healthy. So yeah, so yeah, so that's so you know. I knew that, but I don't know anything else except for the uh injected mons which were Conkeldur, etc. But I don't know anything else. So the fact she has Zygarde on top of it, like, one, I was already worried about the Rayquaza, and then oh, she's over here like, oh, by the way, I have a Zygarde as well. Remember when you were worried about this thing and hyper fixated on that? Because, it's like, of course. You couldn't just make my life a little easy there, freaking giving me a test for the Virgin Gym, because, of course, it doesn't make me any more scared for the other gyms to come, but... But we got it. We got our first gym badge, and I can be happy in that. Gym badge won, acquired. As stressful as that may have been. Like, honest, honest to goodness, Siren could have easily died to that Volt Switch. Because I did not think. You and Dino have shown me a new depth of field. It's fantastic. Well, I'm glad you appreciated Dino, but... I honestly think the highlight of this match, the, the top Pokemon in this match, was um, having Cryogonal. Um, honestly, Cryogonal was the leader of the match, I think. We got a TM that Siren used to have. Yay. So, yeah. Well, yeah, this is a good ending to the episode, um, I think, because this is 27-minute section. Yeah, so in the next episode, we'll make our way to the Professor, but I don't think we'll fight the Professor. <sighs> what a toughie, though. This is gonna this is gonna be a toughie. I, it, we know it. We knew it for all along, and I'm excited to see what the future may have in store, what our team is going to look like, how everything's gonna go. Um, I'll go get the experience share from you know who we all know who it is at this point so it's fine I'll go grab that but I don't need to train anybody with it so that's nice love you all bye